hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is alima if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do by subscribing hit the like button down below you can also drop comments put on your notification bell so as to be notified each time i post new content okay. Hola. okay so let me appreciate my subscribers thank you all so much for subscribing to this channel because of you guys i'm still here please like share and also yeah share <laughs> okay so in today's video i'm going to be talking about love yeah so this um episode was inspired by an episode of law of the arts yes a telemundo series you heard that right telemundo so here goes my story so there's this guy he got shot he was at the hospital so his girlfriend doesn't stay in the same state with him and his colleagues have heard a lot about his girlfriend but they've actually not put a face to the name so that fateful day his girlfriend was with him at the hospital but she had to go to the cafeteria to get some things whilst she was at the cafeteria she met one of her boyfriend's friends which obviously she didn't know that they were friends but she she was just you know she was feeling the guy she was all flirty with the guy and all forgetting the fact that her boyfriend is currently in that same hospital on the hospital bed though <laughs> we may fear i feel you guys Sosha subsequently they got talking and they exchanged numbers then the guy later went to meet his friend when he got to his friend's room he asked that what about his girlfriend and he said oh she just left now to get something at the cafeteria blah blah blah, blah. and he still didn't put you know one or two together to figure out whether that's his girlfriend or not because ah, you miss people on daily on a daily basis now so why would you even think that person is you know your friend's girlfriend when you've not even met the person fast forward to the next day he called her up hey what's up Alpha? can i take you up blah, blah 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 so they went out on a date and they flirted they did everything they kissed and later ended up at the hotel which the other guy is even paying for like seriously they ended up at the hotel they just smashed sha in one word and that was it he left to work and so this other guy that was, that is at the hospital, he got, you know, he got discharged. His friends came to pick him up. They did still meet the girl. Hmm. Fatal. They did still meet the girl. So they planned this um welcome. Is it what did they what what party did they throw somebody that is, you know? <laughs> that just got discharged from the office. Threw him a welcome party at the office, and that was the same day he chose to introduce his girlfriend to his friends and colleagues so here comes the shock of life so as he was doing the introduction he the guy's friend saw the lady and he was like what's happening so when he now went went ahead to introduce the girl as his girlfriend and his fiance because the previous night he actually asked the girl to marry him so and he was so excited about it, told his friends, and they were so happy for him, blah 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 and all. So when the other the friend now realized that that's his girlfriend, he now went to meet her at the back and like ah, like this is so hard to believe that he thinks the girl should you know come clean to the guy about them knowing each other and probably having something to do with each other. But she was like, No, they don't need to tell him, he doesn't know and why are we even telling him in the first place and he is like no he cannot do this to his friend like one of his best friends that he can't do that that somebody has to tell him and he has to come from either of the two of them that either the girlfriend or his friend and she's like no she, she's not going to carry that burden that she is not doing any of that so every other person is he sought advice from actually told him that ah, it's better you tell this person you know, because you guys have been friends for so long and it to be so you know so not nice for you to keep such a huge thing away from him so then the day came he summoned up the courage 
he told him and he was very angry he kind of punched him it was it was like different emotions rushing and gushing out at the same time because depressing you you are cherishing somewhere someone is out there just unwrapping the person <laughs> okay so immediately he stormed out of his office he went home and told Anna Maria pack your bags and leave my house and she was just dead dumbfounded like what is happening dopely and she said and he said do you know this person do you know Alfredo and it was and she was just dead like it was at that moment that she realized that Alfredo already had already told Dupili about the whole affair thing and she was like let me explain let me explain, let me explain. and he, he he said oh okay you have the floor explain and I was I was marveled by what came out of her mouth so she said oh a defense that's where the question comes in a defense was oh I didn't know is your friend one and I didn't know how much you felt about me at that moment in time so I didn't even know you were going to propose to me I didn't know you took this relationship serious so here comes my question what does love even mean to you first of all and when you say you love somebody what does it really mean because i think we're getting this thing all you know all twisted when you say you love somebody that means that you won't do anything to hurt them right you would do everything well not at your own expense but at, but then again you would you know try to please them and love them with everything you have so how can you say you love somebody and you are out there doing all sorts of things with other people if probably you guys had an agreement about maybe open relationship maybe your relationship is open you can be with other people yeah fine but this person said that he loves you and you actually said it back that you love the person and you went at his back and that was even what was pinning the guy like i just proposed to you so if you knew that you didn't take this relationship serious why would you even say yes to it so my question like i said earlier is what does love even mean to you secondly at what point does one become exclusive in a relationship like no not one at what point does the relationship become exclusive of other people okay that's exclusive in the sense that you're you are with this person and just this person alone nobody else i'm not thinking of anybody i'm not going on a date with anybody it's just this person and this person alone so relationships these days are very complicated we don't even know what is right but me for the first one i think love is something that you can't express but once you feel it with somebody it's it's an indescribable feeling that once you feel it for somebody you get attached to the person you want the best for the person you just want to be around the person and you want everything good for that person so i don't think that when you love somebody you hurt them because when somebody tells you i love you that means i don't know the word love is being used loosely these days so it means a lot of things to different people but that's what i think love is so for the second question love doesn't just start in a day it's a gradual process so when you meet somebody you guys get attracted to each other and feelings start growing along the line love you know love grows also then i think the point where one get exclusive in a relationship is at the point where you think that oh this thing is going somewhere good like this this is not a joke this person is not joking with me this person is serious i think one would see the signs then at that point that's the point where you you know that you have to be exclusive but you know the funny thing is with guys you don't even know not with guys per se but even with ourselves one doesn't really know when the other person is exclusive okay we just say oh we're exclusive that means it's just both of us but we can't really tell if 
your partner is exploring other options but you, you are just trusting the process guys that is my opinion on this whole thing if you have different opinion please you can drop same in the comment down below let's talk what does love really mean to you and at what point do you get exclusive with your partner in a relationship if you're in a relationship why are you <laughs> like why are you have your one night stand i really want to know <laughs> i know relationships are i know relationships are very complicated and sometimes you just need you know um breath of fresh air but then again that would be detrimental to a relationship it's maybe your relationship is not that serious that's why you 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 would take that you know that very that decision to be with somebody else just for the night at the expense of your relationship but that's what i think guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it by subscribing hit the like button down below and also put on your notification bell so as to be notified each time i post new content so till i come your way again bye guys